Hello my loves, welcome back to Zeke's Lunchbox. We are halfway through our Kickstarter for the tarot card deck. If you guys haven't seen my last video on that, or the last couple of videos on that, head over and catch up. I talk all about uh, the deck and how the Kickstarter has been going and all the other items that are involved in the Kickstarter. It's gonna be a little bit of a short one in this video just because, spoiler alert, the two artworks we're going to be talking about in this video are not finished. <laughs> Not finished, how dare you show us unfinished artwork. <laughs> they are unfinished for a reason. They are two additional cards that we are proposing to do for the deck. There are currently 78 cards in the tarot card deck, but we are proposing to add two more cards and that brings it up to 80 cards. I just feel like 80 is like such a full robust number getting 80 cards in a deck like you're really getting your money's worth when you're buying a tarot card deck we are proposing to do the patron card and the maker card i will go in depth about meaning behind those two cards and the process on those two cards in this video but the first card the patron card unlocks at eighty thousand dollars Australian dollars and I believe we're almost at 70 so we're not far away it is achievable but we need to get there a lot sooner than later because our next goal is at a hundred thousand dollars AUD once we reach that goal onto our Kickstarter that means both cards are secured and they have been unlocked and they will be included in all of the tarot card boxes you guys have already pledged so uh, to make that happen make sure you share and follow me over on Instagram as well just because I post on there a lot it's just a lot more quicker to communicate with you guys over on that platform make sure you watch the stories because there's a lot of like things that I can remind you guys of over in stories share the project with people that you think would enjoy the tarot card project and, and enjoy art enjoy tarot cards enjoy astrology this is the deck for you especially if you like Barbie colored intense sci-fi psychedelic worlds and if you've already backed the Kickstarter again and keep sharing it. Uh, I really appreciate everybody getting the word out. And then also uh, we do have some add-ons as well. So we've got the enamel pin, the extra postcards, the wall hanging. This bag has been unlocked. Thank you guys for unlocking the little pouch. If you want additional pouches, head over, grab those as an add-on and all those tiny little bursts of money help us get to our big goal. Without further ado, let's get into the two cards that we're going to chat about and uh, so you guys can see what you're getting. Hello, hello folks. So I am drawing a bonus card for the tarot card deck. We are proposing to do two extra cards as a stretch goal so i won't be drawing the final pieces just yet i'm just doing the sketches and then hopefully that'll be enough to entice everybody to pledge a little bit more and then get us over the line this is the patron what we're proposing for this one is kind of a novelty card it's kind of like a gimmicky card for me it really reminds me of goosebumps it reminds me of like old pokemon cards like actual like proper old collectible cards from like the 90s so what we're proposing here is to do like a metallic foil like a really shiny metallic foil to be as reflective as possible so it'll be showing people's or like the viewers uh, reflection in the mirror and it's more just like an ode to everybody who has donated their money and become a backer for the kickstarter yeah it's kind of just an ode to everybody who has supported the project over the last couple of years so this one's like you know about you uh, it reminds me of that time magazine um article where or cover where it just had like a reflective surface that's kind of like our nod to it i think it's kind of tongue-in-cheek kind of silly and <laughs> i'm really excited about it okay so i put the bat in because often a symbol a guardian of the night so i feel like that's a good nod to the audience uh you guys have been my guardians and you've really carried me through all the darkness and all the uncertainty and also you know i also love bats um, I'm also going for a more Art Deco vibe with all the florals and swirls. I have been looking up old Art Deco doors and mirrors as inspiration for it. Um, these sort of swirls I have kept throughout a couple of the other cards, like the Wings of the Lovers, the Hilt of the Swords. I like all of that floral ornate stuff, but 
I like it when it looks a tiny bit more gothic. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out some more little details. Like, I'm not loving this particular section. I'm not really loving this area here. I feel like it could be a bit more curved. I'm not sure. I've got to figure that out because right now it's just looking a little bit bleh. And then down here, I want to have more of a triangle shape so it kind of tapers into the mirror so it doesn't just look like the relief and the floral stuff on the side is just stuck on. So that's what I'm going to be playing with. I kind of feel like I need maybe like some animals or maybe like little faces on the sides here because it just needs like a tiny bit more personality. And then upon discussing it with my um, partner, Aurelian, who is also an artist, he just suggested getting rid of the floor just because the floor makes it feel a little bit, a little bit too spooky, a little bit too oppressive and the sky can make it, like he suggested putting it into, a, into the sky so it's like floating and yeah. I already have lots of sky images drawn um, that I've done for the minor card so I'll just choose a background from that instead. Really enjoying just doing something kind of simple and easy and I'm hoping to finish this in the next hour or so. And then we can move on to the maker, which is the other half of the proposed cards that I'm going to be making. Hello everybody! We are going to move on to make the maker card. This is just going to be a sketch. The two, these two additional cards are pretty much just proposals that I will be putting out onto the Kickstarter just to see if, you know, if people are interested then they can like try and boost up the Kickstarter as much as possible. And um, I guess I'm, I'm talking to you guys. If you want these cards to be made, make sure you share the project and we raise enough money for the stretch goals for these extra cards cards to be made. The maker card is just like a card that we came up with to go along with the patron card. So the two cards together kind of work cohesively. It's all about the relationship between the artist and the viewer. So that's a really good representation of the journey that we've been on with this project. Felt really sweet to, you know, honor the relationship that we have all had together on this journey. So I've just made a quick list of like what kind of makers there are just to brainstorm and see if maybe that is possible to try and like represent all kinds of makers. And then I just st I started off with this sketch over here. I kind of wanted it to feel like they were kind of dancing or you know they were like a flamenco dancer who was like having a lot of fun creating and creating magic. And then here I'm just kind of playing around with a couple of other versions. I quite liked with this having like some skates on the feet as well just because that would kind of allow them to be full of energy and they're really excited and full of magic to create. Then we move on to this one over here. Another concept that I was playing around with was maybe having the maker balance on some shapes because you know being a creator is all about balancing and trying to juggle a billion different mindsets. Um, your business mindset, your, your caring mindset, uh, your, ca your creativity mindset. So I thought maybe balancing on some objects could be cool while they have multiple arms as well because you know that's just another way of showing how many tasks a creator has to a maker has to do and then a couple more other versions I was playing with the idea of maybe doing like a somebody sitting at a desk because this is another major card it just wasn't quite working for me it just felt like you know you're losing so much movement and momentum for me making and creating is what humans are meant to be doing it's how we've gotten to where we are on earth and in our history we are natural creators natural tinkerers natural just makers makers is like the best way for me to describe it um so i really wanted to have an image that like kind of captures the best of humanity i have this sketch over here i did earlier this morning that i'm not too happy with but i just decided to go digital anyway and just play around with the digital sketch a little bit more here you can see i'm kind of playing around with with the balance concept a little bit more with all the different arms and uh yeah let's move on to see the uh sketch that i've kind of nailed and this is the sketch that i've kind of come up with i really wanted it to be more of a general maker but it's just the canvas size the subject matter like you can only fit so much so i more centered it around being a painter rather than a general
general maker, but I think you get the sense and the idea. And um, also I think being a painter or the lady being a painter is a bit more specific to the relationship between the artist and the viewer. That's kind of where I landed. I've kept the same top half, as you can see. I've also kept the same back leg, but I've just moved her other leg out this way just because the other position, she just wasn't planted on the ground enough and I needed her to be like uh, really opening up her body language to the camera, to the viewer. So it really is caught. It's like a, a moment caught in time where she's like really proud of herself, really proud of the work. Still trying to figure out what I want to put into the canvas. I think the most fitting thing would be to put a lotus in the background since I did just mention that. But yeah, this is what I've got so far. I think, I think I'll just like try and clean it up. I might send this off to Julian to see his thoughts, but um, yeah, I think, I think we're almost there. I'm going to clean it up and then get back to you guys. Alrighty, you guys. I'm just obsessed. Yes, I'm going to be hugging and caressing this deck <laughs> forever and ever. I've worked very hard for this silly little art project. We're so close to hitting our goal of 80 and then $100,000 on our Kickstarter. Uh, keep sharing, keep uh, backing. If you haven't backed the project, go over and back that. Keep on doing what you're doing. If you're here and you've done all the little bits and bobs, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. Who is excited to unlock these two extra cards? Comment below. How excited are you? I am getting a lot of people who are like, I really hope we get it. And I do too. Out of the two, which one do you prefer? Are you a patron fan or are you a maker fan? Uh, which one do you relate to the most? Which art do you prefer? Because I am getting a lot of people kind of like, varied all over the place. I will see you guys in the next video. It's a little short one this time. I'm working on a bunch of videos at the same time so I'm more just trying to get a lot of videos out to you as soon as possible. So thank you guys for being here. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I will see you in the next video. Tarot playlist down below if you want to catch up. Catch you later. Bye!